Jerome O'Connor here, farming in Arda and West Limerick. Farming here with my mother and father in partnership. I'm home full time for the last five years. Before that, I travelled to New Zealand and America, working in, uh, in agriculture over there too. So when I came home, we decided that we needed to make the future revival. So we decided that we needed to up cow numbers and decrease the dry stock. For the last 20 years, we were milking uh, in a six unit straight parlor and um, we were milking up to 70 cows. Facilities were getting a bit outdated, so we decided that we needed to do something and robotic milking was on the cards for a long time, so it took a couple of years of research and um, we finally decided to go greenfield site and two robots, so that would facilitate the increase in number of cows and reduce the labour requirement going forward for the farm. Here we have 154 cubicle shed, so uh, cow comfort was at the forefront. Uh, we opted for the flexible cubicles and mattress mat, which is uh, very good for cows, which increases their production because of the environment they're in. We decided to go for two Lely A5 robots. We did a lot of research and we found that they, they were the first out there and they have a lot of research done and they're at the forefront. The backup service we found was going to be good. They haven't let the sound so far. The features of the robot have made managing cows uh, much uh, easier and more prompt. We've opted for the heat detection rumination collar uh, package so we can um, monitor the cows very closely. And with the heat detection, it's very good for picking them out and drafting them so that they're there for you um, for insemination every morning, which saves a lot of labor. There's two outside feed passages so that there's no centre passage, which is for ease of management. Cows can be selected from anywhere in the shed and brought to a separation pen if needed be. So uh, one man can pick out a dry cow and bring her into the cabin pin quite easily, which is uh, very easy, good management. Behind the robots we have a separation area with 12 cubicles and a cabin area, so cows that are close to calving can come in there and cows that may be a bit sick you can keep an eye on them and draft them and it's a place they can um, slide, lie down and you can keep a close eye on them. There's a, a crush also located behind the robots which once cows are drafted can be easily treated for any reason so all uh, cow flow is at the forefront, very easy to manage cows so cows will walk anywhere you want them to go. We transitioned over to robotic milking on the 30th of March 21 and uh, it has been very straightforward. We've had no issues with cows. We didn't have to collect cows from fields within less than a month. Cows, young and old, took to the robot with no hassle. If I was to do anything different, I don't think I would. I'd say we have designed it in mind for a one-man operation with maybe a small bit of extra help here and there. So far, cows seem to flow through it quite easily, so we're happy with what we've done so far. Cows have transitioned very well. Within two or three days, they were up and running on the system, and in, um, over the course of the summer, we got a high uh, consumption rate in AI. So I'm very pleased with the transition so far. Once we changed over the last year, we found that first lactation heifers have increased production. With, with only a small extra bit amount of feed. We find that they're very content and that allows for more production. Even old cows that um, we thought were quite good got better again with the robotic system. So I think just a cow that might be a bit shy can hold back till a quieter time and uh, get meat and there's no bullying or anything going on. So they all get their time. We find that the cows are just very happy and very content.